Hello everybody, we are here with On Air and South by Southeast and today we are with Mass Attacks. So everybody enjoy the On Air live stream and let's go. We're going to just jump right into it. Still got the podcast intro in the background. Intro's playing in the background, bro. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was, I was I had my foot on the gas. The I was ready to go. It was a remix. <laughs> the remix <laughs> to the remix. and everything. All right. Like I said, we're going to just jump right into it. We'll talk a little bit later. the night before drinking anything that's poor she don't even pour feelings though how does that work so if you're a saint then i'm a non-believer and i ain't worried about the drama neither see your history there's poetry i'm flowing see and hopefully you notice me before i go i'm bound to leave you in due time though maybe july yo maybe upon arrival haven't really decided you need to make up your mind though i ain't got the time for you leading me with a blindfold said you never break my heart one hell of a start girl can we do this now? Cause I can't wait, no, I can't wait no more for you. Girl, I've been thinking that I can't wait, no, I can't wait no more for you, no. It's always one thing, and if not, it's another. Swear I used to be a lover till that girl went out and cheated. What's love? I don't need it, obviously, I'm still breathing. A line from the other side, I had to go repeat it. And I've grown a lot since then, I'm past the past year in between it. Trying to take us to the future, I can almost guarantee it. Really mean it when you tell me all those things that you say. Overthinking will be the death of you and me, but no way. Girl, can we do this now? Cause I can't wait, no, I can't wait no more for you. Girl, I've been thinking that I can't wait, no, I can't wait no more for you, no. All right, all Woo! right. Oh. All right, I go by Mass Attack. That track you just heard was called Thinking, and that was from my debut solo EP called Empty Spaces, which you can find everywhere, wherever music is. Um, I also have a website, massattackmusic.com. Um, but before I talk about myself, I just want to say thank you if you're watching. Um, and I want to give a special shout out to the South by Southeast on air for having us here. This is a uh, very special. Um, I'm very honored to be a part of this and, and to be their second guest ever is just, it's incredible. Um, and I hope to be back one day, but while I'm here, I want to live in the moment. And I want you guys to, to hear the music, enjoy yourself. Um, and as this progresses, you'll learn a little bit more about me and about these two guys to my right and my left. And hopefully you learn a little bit about yourself tonight. So we're going to keep this going. This next track is called Forever. If you're a fan of a uh, little old school Smokey Robinson, then we got a little taste in there for you. So this song, uh, it's just... You know, about finding someone, you see you see someone and you just look at them and right away you know you, you want to spend forever with them, you know. 
um, it's an undeniable doubt in their in your mind when you see that person you know whoever your person is you you look at them and you know that that's who you want to be with that's that's your forever um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic relationship you know you have friends who you're your forever friends you know your family members um, things like that so when I wrote this song um, it was coming from a place of you know if you want it and, and by it I mean me like you have it you know it's yours I'm yours and I'm gonna give my all to you you know and I and I I do that in my music. I do that in my relationships with my friends and family. Um, I try to give them my all. I don't. I don't want to give you pieces. I want. I want to make sure that you know that I'm there for you 100%. You know, every single time that I'm there. So this song's called Forever, and uh, I hope you guys like it. Like I'm Jago and it's really nice to meet you If you're hungry let me know It'd be really nice to treat you And if shorty wanna rock We rockin' to this And if shorty wanna pop We poppin' a hen Came through, told her bring a friend And we do this all the time So tomorrow might do it again See it's Doug GD, we got dreams We get drowned, we got drinks And we keep them ice cold Grab a cup of your favorite mix You'll like this, but if not, girl, just let me know And if you want it, you got it forever I'm yours And if you want it, you got it forever Yeah, I'm yours yeah, now it's Friday, another week passed Hard working toward the weekend, but the weekends don't last So we clock out on Friday, hope it's payday and it's my day If shorty's walking towards me, I guess things are going my way, right? Saturday morning, I hit Louis V. Line Said I need a fresh cut, he say I got you, bro, slide I leave the barber seat faded, bots and night faded And if I see shorty forever's an understatement We amazing, busy the reason that we made it And if we see a chance, I promise that we take it Cause we all got dreams, we be up all night But we just don't sleep, nah Let's just meet where the sun lay And as for all our worries, worry about them on Monday The road we took is in one way and we don't pour feelings, pour mimosas on Sundays Want it, you got it forever I'm yours And if you want it, you got it forever So, um, yeah, that song is also on my project, Empty Spaces. And uh, I'm going to take a little break to talk about the, the project with you guys, whoever's tuning in. Um, so the project's called Empty Spaces uh, because I was soul searching. I was trying to find myself. Uh, for those of you that are new fans of Mass Attack or if you've never heard of me before and this is your first time listening, um, you're meeting a second half of me, almost like a reborn version of myself. Um, Mass Attack started as a two-man hip-hop group. And unfortunately, you know, the other member is no longer with us in the physical sense. Um, and that was my brother. He passed away. So after a while, I, I had to contemplate whether I was going to continue to do music or if I was going to hang it up. Um, but I knew that in my heart, he would want me to keep going. And uh, I made a promise to him the last time I seen him that I was going to make sure that everybody, you know, at least that I come across knows his name. And as many people as I can possibly get this message to. Um, hear him and, and know who he is because he stood by a lot of things that I look up to you know he, he was young but he was an old soul he, he knew that life is too short and we need to spread more love the world needs a lot more love and positivity especially in times like now I mean 
Unfortunately, he was gone before the whole COVID when, you know, the world kind of got messy and we, we lost touch with, the, with ourselves and with each other. Uh, but sometimes all you need is a hug, sometimes a text message. I mean, nowadays there's no excuse to your loved ones. It, it's a simple like on Facebook or a, a message, text, a call. Um, you don't even have to physically be there anymore. You can FaceTime them and still see their emotions and their reactions. Um, so I want to take this time right now to make sure that if you're watching this, text someone you love. Remind them that you love them. Remind them, you know, that, they, that they're a part of your life because you might not get that chance tomorrow. Um, and unfortunately, I had to learn that the hard way. Um, so I wrote this, this project, Empty Spaces, kind of as a, as, a, as a way for me to express how I was feeling at the time because I didn't know how I was feeling at the time. Um, and it just kind of came pouring out, and it, it was, like I said, it was a rebirth for myself. Uh, it was my first time doing a solo project. So the project itself was is very short at six songs, but it, it gives you a taste of different styles. You know, I was influenced by a lot of different kinds of music growing up, you know, from, from like Smokey Robinson, the sample you just heard that I used, to Pink Floyd, Tupac, Biggie, hip hop. I mean, I'm, I'm everywhere with the genres, but uh, I just appreciate music and music's always been my outlet and my way of expressing my love and my feelings. Um, so as you're listening to these songs, think of these as like virtual hugs for me to you. Even if I don't know you, um, you could probably use a hug right now. Maybe you don't like hugs, but you're getting one anyway by listening to a Mass Attack song. Um, so this project, again, it was called Empty Spaces. Um, and you're gonna hear the next song from there. It's called Coffee. A lot of people like this song. Um, the reason it's called coffee is because coffee is something that people are addicted to. They, they wake up and they need it. They, they, they crave it and they can't go on without it. And it's a love song. So when I wrote it, I wanted it to be, you know, the perfect, the perfect name for a song where you don't know why you need it, right? You don't remember the first time you had that cup of coffee, but you remember that you need the next cup. And, and you wake up and if you don't have that cup of coffee, you're going to have a bad day. Um, it kind of sets the tone for people. So this song is called Coffee. And it's definitely grown on me because I didn't really like it too much when I wrote it because uh, I wasn't really in love. But now I am, so I appreciate it a little bit more, I guess. So enjoy. Take my hand in the dark What if I hand you my heart It's like I planned from the start You're perfect And have I told you today That you show me the way I wanna hold you and say You're worth it yeah, now we could talk about it louder, we could talk about nothing Us together feels right, every other night doesn't, baby girl, it's alright Yeah, it's alright Just tell me how you feel, we can go at your pace I can tell it's for real when I look at your face, baby girl, it's alright Yeah, it's alright Cause you make my heart go someone that you love that you're sitting by right now while you're watching this I want you to tell me you love them if not send them a text message if they're no longer here just keep them in your heart yeah and I want to show you I'm by that this feeling is something certain and I got way more to say but I'd rather show you in person when we aren't face to face Use your phone to disperse all the feelings you know you have It's cool if you close the curtains Shady, right? You blocking your own blessings Ain't the savey type But don't learn from your own lessons So let's get one thing straight I can make it last forever Just don't make me wait 
just don't make me wait. I can make it last forever, just don't make me wait. Don't make them wait. Just don't make me wait. I can make it last forever, just don't make me wait. No. Yeah. Just don't make me wait. I can make it last forever, just don't make me wait. Don't make me wait, come on. Just don't make me wait. I can make it last forever, just don't make me wait. So that song was called Coffee. Yeah. Uh, like I said, it's definitely grown on me since I've started getting these feelings of my heart getting all crazy. So uh, I'm going to take this moment real quick to give a shout out to the people that I love. Um, and that includes everyone in this room. That includes you if you're watching this. If you ever played any of my songs, any of my brother's songs. Um, and to my family, my mom, my dad, my sisters, my niece, Melanie, um, you know, my baby, Annette and my son Xavier, and all my family, you know, my grandparents, my cousins, you know, you, like I said, you, if you're watching this right now, I love you. And if you don't hear that from nobody else, you're going to hear it from me. Um, you are not unloved. This world is a cold place, but, you know, somebody out there loves you. So, again, as holidays come closer, it's hard for people when they have their loved ones that are no longer here. Um, but they're not gone. I hope you know that. I know my brother's, you know, not physically here, but he's with me everywhere I go. Every step I take, every breath I take, he's with me. Um, I carry him in my heart, and I hope you do the same for the people that you've lost. Um, and if you're watching this right now and you've lost somebody, I want you to really keep him in your heart. Like I said, keep him with you everywhere you go. Also, I got to give a shout-out to Ryan. Happy birthday. It's my sister's boyfriend. Uh, he got a YouTube for his uh, gaming. I think it's Get Snaked. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, Ryan. Hey, you like Happy your birthday. girlfriend? You like birthday. your you like his boy, her hey, boyfriend? Look, look, look it's like kind of it's not normal. Stop, man. You know what? I'm happy for my sisters. You know, they make they they're grown. Their decisions. I'm gonna support them either way. So hey, I'm just kidding. He's probably a great guy. He's a nice probably stand up he's gentleman. A, he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. But again, uh, like I said, thank you for if you're watching. I want to shout out to everybody. I want to shout out again, South by Southeast podcast and South by Southeast on air segments because. Yes, sir. Honestly, I got to give a couple moments to just sit here and talk about them. I know you guys are probably going to get sick of me talking about them and giving them praise, but you don't understand. I came on this podcast right before the summertime um, because of Kevin. Shout out to Kevin Perez. He brought me on this podcast, and literally, maybe like two weeks later, I got hit up to perform at South Ave Fest. So then I eventually performed at that festival, which led, it was a spiral of shows and fests i ended up headlining nest fest on the east side shout out to the east side of course you know um but yeah i ended up headlining nest fest and that was probably my favorite show until right now so this is my favorite show just because i'm here in this room and it's amazing with these two incredible people who started this podcast we didn't pay him to say that so many no no they didn't pay me to say that i'm i'm genuinely like i'm honored to be you know even friends with them because you don't understand what they have done for this community. They have went above and beyond way, you know, you can't even say above and beyond because nobody's done what they've done and they're just getting started, which is the scary part. So be on the lookout for them because they're changing lives. They really are. They're bringing us together, which we need. Creatives, musicians, artists, vendors, everything, man. They're, they're Like I said, it's a renaissance happening right now on the east side and it's beautiful to be a part of. Even if we're just the foundation, they're the ones that, you know, we're the ones that had the blueprint and they put it down. Um, so thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for having me and for doing what you guys do because it's not easy. And, it, and I appreciate you guys a lot. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is so cool. Like, this is amazing. I, I love this. Uh, you're giving me a platform, which anytime I'm going to get this platform, I want to just preach uh, a little bit about mental health. It's very important for all ages. Um, it's never too early to start learning about it. You know, growing up, we weren't really taught about mental health, but it's very important. You never know what someone's going through, and uh, it could be scary. The world could be a scary place for someone who feels, you know, like they're alone. Uh, even when they have a lot of friends, someone could be the happiest person in the world on the outside, but you don't really know what they're going through. Everybody's wired different. You know, we're all put on this planet, and, and the cool thing is we're all here right now at this moment together. So while we're here together, we need to try to make this world a better place. You know, like I said, it's a, it's a messed up world, but if we all do our part, then at least we know that we were here for something and we, and we you know, stood for something while we were here. Um, but this next song, I, I, it's the new single from my upcoming album, which is called Forever. Um, and it's called Lonely. 
And this song is is about me. It was about me struggling after losing my brother. I I put on a happy face for a while. I made it seem like I was okay, but on the inside, I had no idea what I was going through. I had no idea. I was breaking down. I didn't want to seek help because I felt helpless. I didn't want to make myself seem helpless. And I truly felt lonely, even around my best friends, about around my family. N nothing could change that. And it's because I didn't accept the fact that he was gone. And it's hard to accept the fact that somebody's gone that you love. But I realized you don't have to accept the fact that they're gone. You just have to accept the fact that you have to keep going and carry them with you. So it's not about, you know, questioning why they're no longer here. Because you're never going to get an answer to that. And I realized that. But... What I also realize is that you don't have to get that answer because you're not going to get it. So instead, just, you know, appreciate the time you had with them and keep all those moments, happy, bad, sad, everything, the good and bad. You got to take it all because that's who they were and you got to keep them with you. And now it's your job, you know, to continue the journey. So that's why Mass Attack is still here, it's still alive, and it's going to be forever, which is the name of the album. And this song is called Lonely. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And yeah. I mean, again, I appreciate you guys for even watching. Don't want to get too emotional on you guys, you know. I'm trying not to cry, but you know, sometimes it happens. This is like, you know, you're in a safe space. A lot of sad songs. That's why I'm cool with getting vulnerable here because I, I, I like you guys. I appreciate you guys. You guys are like family, and uh, yeah. Yeah, I like this song a lot. It's like a happy, like kind of puts a twist on. It's kind of like you coming out, like over the hump, like you said. Like, you know what, before we get into these next two, because they do get a little down, <laughs> I want to just <laughs> give a quick shout out to this guy right here, Kem. No, um, so yeah. let me let me just talk real, a little bit about, uh, I know you guys are watching this, probably like, play the damn music. What the, f you know, this is on air. Come on. No, but hey, let me talk. Everybody likes let the me stories. Talk. Yeah. Um, give him a mic, you don't stop. Yeah, so real quick, I, uh, Master Tech was a hip hop. It was a hip hop group. I never really got into how we got with these two. Um. But I always, like I said, I was influenced by rock growing up. I always imagined myself being on stage with a band. I never played instruments. I never did. Um, but I knew that I could rap and I could, you know, eventually I learned how to sing. Not really. I'm not that good. Shout out to Ksenia. She makes me sound good. Um, but I wanted a band and some of my best friends were in a band. And unfortunately, their band decided to, you know, part ways. I wouldn't call it a breakup because they're still best friends. But they decided to just do their own thing. And right when that happened, I was like, hey, I need a band. So they all came back. And now they're playing Mass Tech music. And they've actually converted all my music into, you know, live versions, which is amazing for me. And, and this guy right here, I want to let him talk so you guys can know his story. Because this is Kemen. I don't know what I would do without him because he has been my rock throughout this entire summer and, and reinvention of Mass Tech. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've known George for many years, but... I remember my first show with him was with him and BZ at, uh, was it Angola? Yeah. We played a frat party. So this was back when my old band was, like, doing a lot of cover shows, you know, trying to make some money to fund, like, our solo project. But, so, anyways, we went out to this frat in Angola. We were, like, 20, not even. I was this was years ago. Yeah. But we ended up playing this frat house. We played a bunch of songs like Blink-182, all that. And I had heard of Mass Attack, and I had been listening to them. And shh, I was so excited to see them play. So they played. They opened up. They killed it. And then we just played for hours. And the only thing I remember after that was just George. Every time my hand was empty, he'd be like, here you go, bro. Here you go, bro. Here you go, bro. Every night, I, I, don't, I don't understand it. He comes out of nowhere with a beer. He's like, here you go, bro. Pulling it out of his pockets. I'm like, I like this dude a lot. Hey, so, none of us were driving, and I was yeah, trying hey, to party. you know, frat party, you know. So anyways, that's how I met George. And then I was a big fan of their music. And when my band broke up, uh, we had like a final showdown in Wrigleyville at the Cubby Bear. And uh, we were like, you know, who's, oh no, not Cubby Bear, HVAC, HVAC Pub. HVAC. Yeah. And we were like, who better to open this up than Mass Attack? Because before I was into rock music, I was really into like, you know, when I was in grade school, Eminem was like the biggest thing. So he broke me into hip hop and all that. Yeah. I mean, I'm a white kid from the Burbs. So, <laughs> so what do you expect? I'm sorry. I was, edit that out. You can't. I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. It's fine. Disrespectful. 
Anyway. <laughs> so it was kind of weird to have like a hip hop group open up for like a pop punk final farewell. But it worked out because everyone there was like in love with both genres. And so when Detour North broke up, uh, we wanted to revamp. We wanted to kind of come back with a new sound and be a band again. But I ended up buying all this music equipment to try to make demos. And we just couldn't find the sound that we wanted. So, you know, everyone kind of went off into their own niche. Danny, he's into like skateboarding and taking photos and photography. Anthony, he's a crazy producer. Yeah, you know, he's on BeatStars selling beats. He's crazy. Emmanuel works for Gary V. if you know who Gary Vaynerchuk is. Very talented. Uh, Very he talented. works for his media company. So they went all off to do big things. Uh, I ended up uh, just being a nurse. Just being a nurse in the hardest part in the, of the middle world? of a pandemic. So, yeah, you were, you so were a I needed a release. You're a real hero, bro. Real, I, it doesn't feel like it these days. You are. But you are a uh, real hero. <laughs> anyway, so I was like, "What am I gonna do?" I bought all this music equipment. I don't really know what to do. I love pop punk music. I love hip hop music. And then you know, I discovered Juice World. He kind of mixed the emo and kind of like the hip hop world into like a melodic rap type thing. So I was like, "Man." That's pretty cool. I wonder if I could do that. So I ended up just started making beats. And uh, I think it was last year on my birthday, I played them a, like a couple of them. They're like, dude, you should do this for real. I was like, no, this is trash. Like, this sounds like garbage. And they're like, no, it's actually really good. So honestly, shout out to you because I probably would have never continued with it if uh, you didn't choose that one random beat I sent them. <laughs> it was... It was goofy. It was a goofy, like, little, like, I made it in the middle of the pandemic. It was the winter, and I made it the most summer-sounding song I could do. And I sent it to him just, like, as a joke, and he's like, yo, I'm going to write something to that. And after that, it just snowballed. So I just got real deep into it, and now I produce this single for him, and now I'm trying to be a producer. So that's where he I'm at in producer. my life. He's not trying oh, to be. Yeah. He is. He produced this next track that I'm going to perform. Um, but before, let me give the, the mic to Josh. <laughs> yes, you, you don't have to talk for a long time, but hey, you know what? We got time. We got time. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to have to talk. Me either, but here we are. You know, it's funny. Um, uh, you know, well, if I'm going to talk, I'm going to say thank you, South by Southwest. On air. Southeast on South, air, oh, baby. South by Southeast. Uh, we're not South in Texas. Southeast on air. I'm going to say thank you to you guys and thank you to George. It's funny. Um, yeah, if it wasn't for you, I just wouldn't, like, be playing music. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but when you were putting the live band together, I was at the first practice, and I was there to shoot photos, because I'm in media. I do, like, I'm a photographer and video producer, but I was there to just shoot photos of my friends that were putting this band together. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if you remember last summer, Kim, like, it was just you, it was you, Danny, and uh, Kim, and it... Anthony, you know, it wasn't even, not this practice, not the first one. We had to convince him. Yeah, we had to convince him. And, uh, but like, I'm taking pictures and you got, yeah, we'd still need another guitar player. And I'm like, well, I got, I guess I'll learn the song. He talked me into it. I wasn't going to do it. <laughs> he, talk, he talked me into it. I didn't know I was going to ever end up uh, picking up uh, music. It's been a part of my life for a long time, but this is the first time I, the music has ever had uh, an outlet uh, for me. Um, I know Lonely is the next song, but I do want to say uh, We, the last song that we're playing. Um, you know, I didn't, John was a friend that I unfortunately didn't get a chance to know, you know, very well. He he passed before I really got to, to know him. Um, but I do want to say when we play this song, We, uh, I feel like I get to know John. I feel like I uh, get to experience what it is that I hear everybody talk about. Um, we is a very powerful song, and I am very, very blessed, very lucky to have the chance to perform that song with you. And every time we performed it live, every time we run it in practice, I think it's an amazing song, and I really feel it. And that's from somebody that didn't even get the chance to know John. So, yeah, I guess I'll say that. Like, we is a we is a powerful song. Thank you for, you know, giving me the opportunity to to play that. I mean, that I, I don't take that lightly. It's a it's a really it's a real. Uh, uh, privilege for me to be able to do that. And that's all I'm gonna say. It's a privilege to be a part of this. You're gonna Absolutely. make me cry. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, no, uh, I don't even know what to say right now, man. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie. I convinced these guys and the rest of the band 
to do it. I was like, well, it's just for fun, you know? And then we ended up doing, like, a show every other weekend, and they, they were, like, pissed at me because they're like, what do you mean we have a show in three days? I'm like, oh, we don't have to rehearse. Just I just need you guys to show up. Please, please. I'll do the rest. I'll do the rest. And I'm not even the one... I'm not even the one... I'm not even the one playing the instruments, right? I'm like, yeah, yeah, convincing them to do it. And they did it. So uh, create with your friends. And if your friends create and you don't create, share it, post it, like it. That's free. You don't have to buy it. If you can't afford to buy their art, that's okay. But sharing it is free. Tell a friend to tell a friend about it. I mean, that's how we grow together as, as people, as a community, right? Like, if you're a creative out there and you're not helping other creatives... What are you doing? I, t- I talked about this on another podcast. Shout out to the Windy City podcast. But there is a plate at the table for everybody. People just think that they're too good to let someone else in, but that's not the case. If you are a friend of me, you have a spot to eat. You have a plate at my table forever. And I don't even have to know you. I can meet you today. And if you tell me you make shirts or you make music or you paint i will share your post on instagram i don't care i'm not too good for that stuff because none of us are we're all here on this earth at the same time we need to love each other we need to appreciate each other and you never know who you're helping out that can go a long way it can go a long way um so yeah before we get into this next song again i'm sorry i know i keep delaying this next song this next song you guys are probably like he's never gonna drop it right (laughs) i promise i will um but uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Sebastian Peace, Eastside artist, incredible. I mean, beyond incredible. Personally, my his, favorite. His new EP called Daybreak dropped. And I'm telling you, there's something on there for everybody. If you're a fan of hip hop, if you're a fan of R&B, if you're, there's something on there for everybody. It might not, the first song might not be your cup of tea, but if you listen through the whole thing, you're going to find something you like about it. And if you don't, I don't care. Play it. Listen to it. Share it. Send it to all your friends. Daybreak, Sebastian Peace on everything. I promise you guys, when you hear it, you're going to be like, damn, this dude is cold. Where has he been all this time? I'm asking myself the same thing because his ass needs to drop more music. I'm looking right at him right now. So. All right. This is your son. You can't, can't go back now. It's live. I love you too. All right, this next song is called Lonely. He produced this song too. And again, this song is about me finding myself when I was feeling isolated. (laughs) You don't have to be lonely. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to be lonely. You don't have to be lonely, you don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to be lonely. And I ain't tripping, I'm telling you how it is. I could feel alone in a room full of friends. The world is so cold some days. What I even pray for it? Wish I traded places with BZ, I even prayed for it. I know it's selfish to think, but I would trade the world just to hand them a drink. I've been missing you when it's worse around the holidays I can't even think of December without your smiling face I just wanna roll one up, call you up, I swear I'm sending love with every single tear I isolate but I won't disappear It's John you weary every single year You don't have to be lonely You don't have to, you don't have to You don't have to be lonely you don't have to be lonely, you don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to be lonely. I understand what was causing all the damage. I stopped blaming myself, I had to get rid of the bandage. I even got a band now, bro, and we some bandits. We steal the spotlight whenever the mic is handed. And I know you're in the clouds right now, looking down real proud right now. Say your name real loud right now, so they know in every town right now. Nasty Tech is forever. Easy. So again, this goes out to anybody that you love, anybody that you've lost. You got to keep them in your hearts. Especially around the holidays, I know it can get hard. You know, you, you just got to keep going through it, man. I mean, keep them in your heart, and they're with you every step of the way. It was hard for me. I'm still going through it. I can't even say that I made it through it, but I'm, 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 I'm on my way, and you can be too. And if you need a friend, reach out to me. You know, I, like I said, follow me on Instagram. 
Twitter, on Facebook, you be my Facebook friend. If you need a friend, I got you. I got you, for real. Again, that song's called Lonely, and that's for my new album, Forever. Oh yeah, Ken produced it. He sent he sent me like four beats. I was on the way to the studio and he was like I, I sent him that one back. I'm like, I'm using this one. He's like, what? That's the one I didn't like that I didn't think you were gonna like. I'm like, I got a fucking I got a sorry. I got a hook for it right now. And I sent him back the track that day. He was like, What? So, yeah. It's always I don't know, you're you're just something else, man. I don't know. So back to uh my brother who passed away. Um, his name is John Bach, and I want everyone out there to hear that name, and I want everyone out there to know that John Bach is the reason for Mass Attack. John Bach is the reason that I'm a better man today, and I'm still on my way to be, you know, a better version of myself, but John Bach is the guy who kicked me in the ass and said, you know, you got to do something with our lives, uh, and John Bach is the reason that I'm doing something with my life right now, so... You might not know John, but today you will. You you know you're gonna learn a little something about him. He's a a beautiful soul. He's with me everywhere I go. So when you meet me, you also get to meet him. When you click play on a Mass Attack song, you get to hear John. If you go back to our earlier projects, you can actually you know hear his voice, which is a beautiful thing. And on my upcoming album, I have a couple songs that I still you know keep his his memory alive, his spirit alive, and his voice alive. Um, as a musician, it's a beautiful thing that I get to be immortalized through these words and through these recordings. So even when I'm no longer here, I leave a little piece behind for my friends and my family and maybe even some strangers that decide to click play. Um, and it's been, it's been hard for me to get to where I'm at right now, but I'm here. And I wish I could show you a visual, visual representation of my journey so you could understand how hard it was so if you're going through something hard right now, it's not the end of the road. You just got to find a different route. I don't want you to give up. If you're out there listening to me, you know, you'll get through it. I promise you. You cannot stop. You cannot give up, though. That's up to you. And even right now, every day I struggle. I wake up and I, I, I have to fight with myself, whether to get out of bed, you know. But then I think about John. And he don't have that opportunity. He don't have that decision. He don't have that choice, but we do. So just remember that. So this next song is called We. And this was the first song I wrote after he passed. And it took me a year to record it. And it took me a year and a half to perform it. And even now, every time I... Every time I perform this song, I, I just feel his presence and his heart. I'm choking up right now, even just trying to talk about it. Uh, but, you know, I don't want to just think about John in this moment. I want to think about my grandpa, who I, who's no longer here. I want to think about my cousins, who are no longer here. Friends who have passed. Your loved ones, if you're watching this, think of your loved ones who are no longer here. I want you to keep them in your hearts. I'll, I'll sing this song for them too It's not just about me It's about anybody Everybody out there Who's no longer with us Especially around these holidays This song is dedicated to them To Frank Dana my heart is with you Every day I know it's been hard girl But I told you You gotta keep going Alright let's get to this song It's called We I've been missing you now I've been missing you now I've been missing you now I've been missing you in all the days that we wasted and the nights we shared I don't regret a thing, man, this life's not fair 
Let's take it back to the basics. Always getting drunk and making music in the basement. Started from the bottom like that one Drake track. But what we had was real, you cannot fake that. Words that we spilled, I would not take back. Give anything in this world to have my best friend back. I've been missing you now. I've been missing you now. I've been missing you now. I've been missing you. I swear it took a couple months just trying to write this one verse. If you were here, you tell me pick the pain and yo, this one hurts. I've been in the dark every day. It's like the sun burst. My first kid gon' have your name. Let's pray I have a son first. I've been missing you now. I've been missing you now. I've been missing you now. I've been missing you. I miss your infectious laugh and that gorgeous hair. Goofy ass smile saying, George, I'm here. You would be at my house way before I left work. Was on a first name basis with the liquor store clerk. And I know she been missing you now. She told me just the other day. Only thing that's left to do now Is listen to your loved ones say That they've been missing you now I know they've been missing you now They've been missing you now And I've been missing you Sorry to get the mood, you know, but uh, I had to get that one out. That's from the heart. And I think the best, you know, the best things come from the heart. And John is my heart, so came from him. Message from him, from me, to you guys. The world has enough negativity, so, you know, you guys got to start spreading love. Be positive. Don't take anything for granted. Life is too short. You know, you hear that expression all the time, and, and I used to just, yeah, 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 life's too short. I get it, I get it, I get it. But you ne you never know when you're, you're not, you know, when, you're, when your day comes, you know, you're, you're no longer here. And it sucks. I wish my brother was, was here right now physically with me performing so you guys could hear him because he was incredible. And I hope this makes you want to go listen to some Mass Attack so you guys can hear Beezy because John Bach, not only was he a good person and a, and a great friend, you know, family, but this man rapped his ass off, he sang his ass off. His melodies were off the chain. Incredible musician, made me who I am today, and he's still shaping me. I'm still, you know, digging through our files of all the songs we have, and I'm like, man, he's a genius. Um, keep your keep your spirit alive. Keep your keep your the loved ones that are no longer here. Keep their spirit alive. Um, that's what you got to do. Um, even if they didn't create, find a way to immortalize them. You know, find a way to make sure that they're still with you every step of the way. Um, this has been a great podcast. I don't want to leave on this kind of note because I know it's emotional and heavy. Um, so I'm a I'm gonna do a little acapella freestyle before we get out of here. Uh, I didn't even tell these guys, so this is off the off the I mean, script. it's mostly unplanned because usually we're a band. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, so uh, before I go, well, yeah, I got some time. I got some time. I see the clock. Uh, six minutes. Six yeah. minutes. Some shit you're on. I got this. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. All right, so uh, I I have a list of people that I wanted to shout out, and and I'm sorry if I forgot, but. 
You know, it's a, it's a lot of cameras and lights and stuff. I'm just kidding. Lot it's not LA. Too. But everyone in this room, again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for being here. Thank you. 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 Can't see you back there. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Mike, Krista, you guys, for real. Again, I can't say it enough. The platform you guys have, don't take it for granted. You guys are changing lives. And, and you guys are giving me this opportunity, and that means so much to me. It means so much to me. And I hope if you're watching this that you learn something. And even if you don't learn, you know, about my music or never want to play another Mass Attack song again, that's fine. But I hope you learn to love the people around you and to support the people around you. That's all I want you to take away from this podcast. Everything else is a bonus. But just love yours. Appreciate the people that are with you right now because um, they might not be here tomorrow. Uh, and, yeah, again, thank you guys. Thank everyone here. Thank you. Thank you. My drummer, Danny, he's not here today. Um, my saxophone player, John John, he's not here today. Um, Emmanuel, amazing dude. Shout out to Roman. Um, you know. Plus, we're not forget Anthony. Yeah. Anthony. My bass guy. My bass. That guy, not only, no, no, he's not a bass player, bro. He's also a producer. If you're out there listening and you need beats, hit up Kem and hit up. Hit up Anthony. They are so cold. MassAttackMusic.com. That's where you can find all my music. That's where you can find my social media, everything. Um, my name is George Gomez if you want to be Facebook friends. So I still have some room before I hit the cap. So if you want to be my real friend, let me know. <laughs> all right. Uh, but, yeah, so I got one more little freestyle. And this, uh, this freestyle is from my first mixtape that I made in my basement with my brother John. Uh, and the project was called Other Side. And I don't know. I feel like it's fitting to rap because you know, you'll you'll see when I when I rap these bars. But the song is called "The Other Side," um, so I'm gonna give you guys a little acapella of the first verse from the first project that I ever did. And this was seven years ago, eight years ago. Oh, you want to do? That? I don't know. Remember? Didn't I, didn't <laughs> oh, you wanna you wanna try to get it? Look at this guy's like, oh, I didn't know you were doing this, but uh. It's my favorite thing to just learn songs by ear and then just try to play them. Like, that's what I did for Detour North before I was in that He's band. He's a genius. I learned He's all downplaying him. Kem is a musical genius. He is not only a superhero because he's a nurse, but he's a musical genius. That's it, ain't it? This guy is incredible. All right, in the sun. All right, in the sun. You just get drunk, man. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do the verse, all right? Ready? So, again, this song's called The Other Side, and this is my first verse from like eight years ago. Four, two, yeah. Three, four. Uh, I want to leave you guys on a high note. I know that last song kind of mellowed you out, but uh, it's an important message. Love yours, love your people around you. All right. Look. To the east side girls and nights at the park Who cut the lights when they drink, shots in the dark She used to want my last name last year And now she claim I give love a bad name, shot to the heart Just let me get my mind right first But it's limelight burst till my limelight burst And I'm coming back for you if the time's right, girl But I don't want to hold you back You could choose to leave or you could choose to stay It's your choice and I told you that Yeah, I told you that Come on, I always told you that Yeah to the east side girls and nights at the park Who cut the lights when they drink, shots in the dark She used to want my last name last year Now she came out give love a bad name, shot to the heart Shot to the heart That's a shot to the heart Yeah To the south side girls and nights at the club Letting the man buy a drinks, put a price on that love Poor girl in this cold world, borderline stripper, she a show girl for show girl, that's your girl. You like do, you and go girl. Now you helping her habits until she can't stand up, until you can't stand it. God damn it. You the type my mom gave me a warning about. You make the brightest days feel like it's storming out. But I can't get enough and I can't give it up. So I guess tonight my heart's pouring out. Yeah, my heart's pouring out. Guess tonight my heart's pouring out. So right in this sudden night, so right in this sudden night, I'm the dude with the dope ride. I'm the dude with the dope ride. We could both get drunk tonight. 
We can both get drunk tonight. I've been stressing about the other side. I've been stressing about the other side. That's my brother John Bach. Don't forget that name. John Bach. John Beezy. Beezus. Beezus go crazy 01. That was his Xbox gamer tag. BZ, everything, I mean, like I said, I can't let the world forget his name. John Bach, I love you. Everyone that's watching, I love you. South by Southeast podcast, South by Southeast on air, I love you. Thank you Good so night. much. We should. We should. I didn't figure out those chords for nothing. I didn't even know you. That was, was all free.